day five it's i am me i hope it is by emiko kaneko it's our colleague cct from japan and i'm just going to think about the way to position this tangle and it it's a tangle that does kind of resemble the one that we used. I will start with three reverse S shapes that meet in the middle. So this is the way it starts and I need to make leaves out of this and I think I will do maybe not the same thing that was done with this tangle in the step outs just because of the shape that I used to draw these tangles or these leaves. But it will lead me to a very similar result. It's not really what I planned. Or it doesn't look exactly the way it's supposed to. But that doesn't mean that it will not look cool once it's finished. So this is kind of similar to what we did when we were drawing whipped cream with these receding strokes or shapes. So it's basically like an aura line, but we are drawing an aura line in a way that we draw a receding shape. And I will add some roundings here where the two tangles meet I'm not sure thinking about maybe adding something here maybe a small burst of mukas I'm not sure if I will use only mukas apart from the suggested tangles. But so far, I've used only mucus. Perhaps I will also use some orbs. I will add the third one, just so that I'm not too boring with the straight border. I want to have some of these shapes that just go over the border of course this is not a part of the ayami tangle just my addition to it. And I think I will maybe add a few lines. And of course, 
some rounding where mukas meet Ayami and where they meet each other. And when you add these roundings, it already changes the appearance of the tangles. For the better, if you ask me. If you don't agree, just don't use it. Cool. This this is kind of cool. I think that I have enhanced this ayame. Not that it's not a beautiful tangle because it is, but I like it even more now that I have added some mukas. I will just add some weighting to the bottom of these lines that I placed inside Ayami leaf. So it will look more dramatic and it will, it will contribute to the shading as well. Okay, now time for shading. I will certainly shade this part where my Ayami meet each other. And I will also add shades very similarly to what I did with, with whipped cream but this one is bigger so it's easier to add some elaborate shading not that it needs to be elaborate some shades below the leaves some below my mucus You can hear the wasp again. And now I'll take the blending stamp and lightly, but even as I'm doing it lightly, you might see sometimes that this very top layer of the tile peels away it's such a delicate surface I will add some shade. We have a wasp nest outside our window. And 
and they are boring with their buzzing sound when they enter, enter our house, but they are not, at least they were not dangerous at all, at least until now. So we just let them be. And now the highlights. Oh, I forgot to add the shades to Mocha's. the highlights I am enhancing this part where there are no shades I'm still thinking about what to do with these leaves that I added first Then of course, mocha pots, and I should also add some to mocha stems. But let's see. I'm trying not to go over the black lines, but it's not so easy because my charcoal pencil is not totally sharp, and even when it is, it's not sharp for long. And then, of course, blending stamp or tortillon. I guess this is a tortillon. And with this one, I think I will first position one shade here along this midline so I don't have a concept yet but what I do is I place one shade and then think about how I will place the highlights and try to divide the highlights from shades okay here it is not sure if this was the best choice as always if you haven't practiced the tangle before and kind of decided what to do, which I, I didn't do now, I sharpened my charcoal. And I will try to carefully add highlights without smudging the black lines these leaves are quite big so I went with more elaborate shading and highlighting Uh, 
Now I will just lightly blend it. And then I will take a walnut D05. I will take the O10 again. Oh no, it's not O10, it's 10 again. And add these shiniest highlights. And it does make a difference, even if you cannot notice it the very instance when you start. It really does make a difference. You can maybe, if you really want to compare, you can make a photo before and after adding it and try to see exactly how much the appearance change. I will take an open, uh, 05 now just to draw these tiny highlights and then here when I was using my highlight I went over the black lines and that looks cool Let's see what it looks like placed next to the first one. Really cool. Happy with it. I'm happy with it. And now I will just hold them together like this until I draw this line that I have already done my pencil but I want to make sure that I position it well I'm not going to continue I'm just drawing this part of the line where I'm sure that I won't have any more tangles and then on the bottom I need to see what the third uh, no the third it's I guess the sixth tangle of the challenges Before I decide if I will place something below I am and whipped cream and here's my line maybe I can also do this small part here and I'm not sure if I will extend it further so one thing I can do is just extend it and then place the third tile here on the right side the other thing I can do is make the border come down and then place another tile here I'm not sure what I'll do I have now five tangles on two tiles and there are 31 days so 30 uh, I will need six tiles maybe I can also extend it to the bottom or <laughs> I will I will go right I think I will go to the right side and that's why I will add an extension of the border and with that 
I will conclude today's part of the challenge. Thank you for being here with me and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!